Hey guys, what's up? I um, wanted to make this video um, about, I saw in a lot of the questions and stuff today uh, on the in the Facebook groups, a lot of people are having <clears throat> trouble with uh, FBA labels and stuff, and I had this problem uh, too. And as you can see, this is the printer I opted for. Um, now, I, in retrospect, I probably should have gone with like the brother and the 30 up and all that stuff, but I just read and watched so many videos where people are like, oh, the Dymo's awesome, you know, it'll, it's way better, way better. So, um, uh, you can see here yesterday I sent my first three boxes in there. I was pissed, of course, is like the old, the joke that everybody says, you get a box with one item in it. Um, so I had to actually go out to the store and, and get some another box um, but anyway I'm going to show you how to print labels off this to get them done correctly so my problem was um, let me get some I saved some of the labels so I was having a hard time as you can see and I apologize for the old schoolness of this YouTube I don't have screencasts on this computer and it's just easier to like show labels and stuff so I'm gonna have to hold it with my phone but you can see right here I was having a problem um, you know printing these out this is not you know good uh, a good a good barcode so I was having a problem I couldn't figure out what the problem was it took me seriously like four or five days um, to get this thing finally working uh, luckily I noticed it like I finally got it printed and I'll show you one right here I finally got it and I'm gonna show you how to adjust it and everything but I finally got them to look like this and I was like okay cool I said that's 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 cool. I said the um, the the word is a little messed up. I said, but um, that's okay. You know, who cares about the word as long as the barcode's there? You know, that's that's what matters. So I, as you can see here, I had what is that? Twenty five things that I sent to Amazon for my first shipment. About halfway through, I had done like twelve of them, and um, I noticed, and I'll show you here in a second. I noticed that. The barcode on the label just looked a little funky. I was like, huh, that's weird. So I decided to scan one of them and it didn't scan. As you can see right here, and I bought this scanner here. Um, I have a little like pseudo uh, shop thing going on here. This is not my main computer. I just use this little laptop and I have this little USB thing plugged in. So that way I can basically just take all this stuff with me anywhere I want but I bought a scanner, it was like 15 bucks or something. So I grab this thing and I go to scan it and I'm like, oh crap, it's not working. I'm like, so that's gonna suck if I get all of my, if my shipment shows up at Amazon and it's not readable. Crap, what am I gonna do? What happens? I have no idea. So I, you know, messed with the printer. Finally, it took me like two hours later. I finally got it to work. And as you can see, here's a label that I printed. Now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna actually print one. Um, but you can see it scans. So now I know if you'll notice, it's crooked. Um, obviously, this is just a test one that I put on um, when I was replacing my spool. It, you know, I had to get it aligned and everything, so it printed out kind of crooked. But again, it doesn't matter because it scans. Now you can see the word used is still uh, kind of chopped off, but the barcode's there. That's the important part. And yeah, you can see this is a used, you know, thermometer. So I'm just going to use this as an example. So what you do is you log into your account and you go to the Manage FBA Shipments. You can see I got it right here. What you want to do is you want to click on this right here, Scan and Label. Okay, so it'll bring you to this page. Now I just want to kind of preface this by saying I have not figured out a way, and if anybody knows of a way, please let me know in the comments, but I haven't figured out a way where you can print like 30 of these off at a time. Um, I'm able, you, you gotta do it one by one, unfortunately, through here. The other crappy part is that I haven't been able to, um, you can't, print these labels out until your inventory is in there. So basically with these 26, was it 26 items, 27, 25, whatever the items I had, I scanned them all in, in my inventory. Then you have to go here 
and scan them all in again one at a time uh, and then it'll print out the label and which I which is kind of okay because I mean yes it's more time but you also can package it and label it right there like you can wrap it and do all that stuff um, so I'm gonna show you first before anything let me go ahead and type this thing in here now I don't have normally you can use your scanner for this uh, and just so you can see that this works so you see the see the numbers right here let me focus that okay so you see the number the x0013 GV thing so just so you can see that this works now it's probably gonna say no listings but at least you'll see all right so you see so the numbers work okay so so the way I have to do it because I don't have the thing anymore is I just typed in Maverick barbecue boom there it is okay so there it is um, you know I don't now you notice here you, the numbers are the same right let's see do some comparison just so we know we're good yep okay so the crappy part I mean and you'll never really do this you'll scan the barcode and it'll bring it up but so you see right here it says print label okay um, you don't want to click that yet first what you have to do is go here printer settings this is the important part okay now this is tricky this is where you're gonna spend most of your time once you get it in there it's good it saves it but by default when it pops up it's like I think it's like 30 50 or something like that so that's where the this one came into play see how it's like all jacked up and small and over to the left and everything so I, I I've never used this printer before I didn't know how the hell it worked I searched the forums and nobody really had any uh, any tips on how to do it or, or how it worked so oh, excuse me so you gotta kind of play around with it so the width part width is the length you know the uh, the width of the label so from uh, from here it's hard with this damn phone from here to here that's the width so uh, it was default I think it said it like 30 so that's why this is all smushed you know and again a lot of new people you know we obviously make mistakes we've never done this before so I was like okay well you know the, most of the words are there as long as that barcode scans but and again as you can see this was like my first label this is what I basically had almost on all my stuff as you can see nothing no good so um, so that was no good so you got to kind of play around with it and you'll see where these numbers coincide from so these are my settings obviously now these are the type of labels that I'm using um, I believe they're um, the 30 30 I think it's 30352 or something like that it'll you'll see on the next screen but these are the labels that I am using and they came with this thing I got some replacement ones um, so once you figure this out and I'll show you where this comes into play and what I'm gonna do so you have to play around with this so try so if you have this same exact printer and these same exact labels their address labels then these settings might work for you. If not, you know, play around with it. I know you can see how there's a big, um, you know, it, it's a pretty big opening, so you can fit those big fat labels in there almost. Not the UPS ones, unfortunately, but um, you can fit some fat ones in there. I don't think the UPS ones print out in there. I'm gonna have to double check on that because that would be super. Because right now I print UPS labels out on this. Uh, so, but anyway, that's a video for another time. Okay, so once you got this in there, you go ahead and you click save. And now you click print label and I use Google Chrome for this so here's what happens okay now boom see it now at first when you first go in here I'm gonna show you so I can focus this so the first thing you want to do is you want to let me go back to here so when if you have this is my printer that I just showed you so we'll do that okay because this is where it normally defaults to so you see right there it's set up for paper obviously that's no good it's gonna print out over here and you can't use inkjet printers or they don't recommend it or whatever it is so got to change that so when you first log in and click it for the first time it may come up looking like this um, now mine so what you want to do so I can get closer okay so first thing go to change find your printer 
Dymo. Boom. There you go. Okay. Now, right. So when you click Dymo, now it looks like this. And you're, I was like, oh, damn it. I'm like, that's no good. That's like th it's three pages long. So I start looking around. I'm like, okay, let me, you know, let me try uh, portrait. I think it was on portrait. So, you, you know, portrait. And I was like, okay, that's no good. That's way worse. So I le you leave it to landscape. Where you're going to find your uh, solution is right here in more settings. So what you're going to do, oh, there it is, 30252 address. It's actually the very first one. So that's kind of cool. Boom, right there. Click on that. Now this is where it fixes it, okay? You, no margins. Boom, there it is. Now remember on the last page that I showed you, this is where the width and height thing comes from. So you gotta play around with this, P print off a few labels, uh, so that way you can see if it works. Make sure they scan. So once you have that in there, okay, everything else is the same. Uh, you can go ahead and hit enter or print, you know, if you have one copy or whatever, if you got multiple, obviously you would put multiple in here. So we'll print this guy. And there we go. Doing this stuff one handed. Now I'm gonna have to put the phone down for a second because it, you know, obviously the barcode reader can't read it when it's like this and I don't have three hands. So hang on one second. Let me just straighten this guy out here so we can see Oof, hard to do with one hand all right okay so let's see if it'll scan all right so now here's the new label that we just printed so as you can see now when the title of your thing is long a lot of times it'll you know put it down on the bottom but that's okay what we need to focus on is the is the uh, late label so we grab our trusty barcode scanner here and we test. Boom, good to go. See, so there you go. So that's it. That's how you do it. Um, again, I, like I said, I don't have any way to print these out one at a time. But so what I did uh, as I was printing these out, you know, I had my son help me. He's only four and he loves, you know, playing with the scanning gun. So I let him scan everything. He printed them all out and I just put them on there. But you can package them. So instead of having, you know, you scan everything in and then you print off all your labels and you package and label it. You know, you can do it that way. So the way it was working for me, I, you have to do this individually. And then once you, you know, so once you click print, it obviously brings you back to this page. Uh, and then you just click in here and you scan your next barcode and boom. Um, now every once in a while, it's very odd. I don't know why, but every once in a while I'll scan something that's already in my inventory and it'll say not found. And so you have to kind of type it in manually. It's really weird. Sometimes I've seen where you, you know, you refresh the page or whatever and then it comes back. So, but that's a video for another time. So hopefully this helps guys. Uh, give me a thumbs up if, if you, if it found it helpful, like the video, subscribe. I'm going to have some more videos uh, later on. I've already made a couple you know, about my journey, why I decided to do Amazon FBA. But I'm a new guy too, literally just started last week, sent my first shipment in, super excited. So if you have any questions about this or if you find a better way uh, to do it, you know, where you can print 30 off at a time, please let me know. So far, this is the only way I've been able to figure it out. Thanks, take care.